Hello. So today we're going to go over <clears throat> some debugging issues and some really common sense practices when you have your mission set up and things are breaking and you don't know why and you're getting really frustrated. Uh, just some common practices. This is common sense stuff. I'm going to try and do this really short. Uh, sometimes people forget you need to start with the basics, most simplified solution before you start getting all trying to figure out why my scripts not working, whoa, why aren't my variables firing off, etc, etc. Start with the basics. So we're gonna look at this current setup I have here, which I've reused for another video uh, video which we get and set some simple variables to basically lift a drawbridge. So this is currently broken because I ambushed it and broke it. So let's just look at some common practices to figure out what is going right, wrong, and how I can tell if this thing is actually working. So one of the first things you want to do is just, as you set this up, set it up piece by piece. Make sure your naming conventions are correct, for one thing. So I have things like my triggers here, trigger, puzzle, hammer, trigger, puzzle, hammer, or trigger, puzzle, hammer, two, trigger, puzzle, hammer, trigger, puzzle, fish, things that I could recognize. Static mesh, I keep SM in the front of. Uh, when it comes to matinees, I keep all my matinees called matinees. And then I put a keyword in there and then a description. So pressure being pressure plate, drawbridge up. Um, other things to look for are um, just common naming practices so we always know how to find them. It's not funny when you start naming things after your favorite anime characters or superheroes. Because your teammates, team members are going to have to go into your file when things are broken and they're not going to know why Charizard and Thor uh, are your static meshes, etc. Uh, so it's cute to do in your own little files, but professionally never a good idea. So let's just debug what's going on here. So the premise is, is I want to pick up a hammer, repair the wheel, and then hit the lever over here and then that should trigger my animation. So right now let's see what happens. I hit play. And that's supposed to disappear so nothing happens. I go over here and I think I set my variable. And then I go over here and oh, nothing triggers. So let's go about debugging this and this whole premise of what I'm doing here may seem a little uh, super basic and common, too much common sense as in wow that's just lame shouldn't anybody figure this out but in the heat of battle and you're trying to get things done whether it's homework or professional job or you're just pressured that you want to get this done you make a lot of mistakes so first and foremost things I want to do when my player is running over here I have no visual representation of the lever I have no visual representation of fixing the wheel, so I don't even know if I ran into these triggers properly. So first and foremost, have I run into this trigger properly? So in Unreal, we can, from the script, hit play, and I can watch my triggers activate. So that is first and foremost the thing you want to do. I want to run into my trigger and see it activate, run into my trigger and see it activate, run into my trigger and see it activate. So, first part I'm trying to do is just debug my hammer. So, let's hit play. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit because I can't fit everything on screen. I've got to take my word for it. So, I run over to the hammer and I see nothing. So, something's wrong here. So, let's just start with that one. I'm running into the hammer area and there's a trigger here, but nothing's happening. All right go back and check so this is a trigger called puzzle PUZ hammer and let's confirm if you right click on this find actor in level BAM quick shortcut which I go back to the level it took me right there well look at that yes my trigger is over here not over here I put puzzle 2 hammer over here accidentally. Alright. So that may look like a really lame 
example of something that goes wrong, but I've done it professionally, sitting at my desk fuming for hours trying to figure out why something's not working. And the whole time, I am rocking through the wrong trigger. So on Unreal, it's awesome that you can see these fire off. So now let's run through it. And, well, we hear the sound, so we know we went through it. But also, if we look here, yay, look at that. I am most definitely running through it. So I have a sound associated with it, which is great. So what are the other common practice? So the other thing is, is I'm going through the puzzle wheel and I don't even know what's happening. I did not hear this when I went through it, so I know something went wrong. So for one thing, let's check that I run through this, it actually activates. The other thing is, is how about let's print a string, huh? How about let's just start off with the very, very basics. How about just have a print string when you touch a trigger or when you get to a branch and you know something true or false happens. So print string and in this case if I just want to check the fact that I touched it I could connect it from here to here but what I want to do is make sure so I ran through here oh my hammer actually didn't disappear we heard this sound go off so we know this went through and we visually saw it so I'm assuming it it set the hammer uh, variable right here hammer picked up my boolean to true and it did not set this to hidden did it so we got another problem so what I'm gonna do here is put a false and instead of me just going running through this and if this doesn't work I don't hear this sound I actually get a string a string that's gonna say you need You need to find the hammer first. This is good gameplay 101. First, the spelling. All right, so compile. Let us run through. I hear it, but it's not disappearing, so we're going to solve that next. Hammer. Aha! So I know it's right. And it keeps repeating itself. So what if we uncheck this? You need to find the hammer first. You need to find the hammer first. And sometimes it's good to put a negative sound in there. I like a lot of stimulation. So I hear this, but guess what? I just checked. Aha! So we are going through the trigger, but it still hasn't set this correctly. So it's a boolean, it's trawler, uh, true or false. Simply hit the checkbox, that should fix it. Oh, it's still playing. Oops. Check that, that should fix that. So we'll go try it. So the other part of this is, again here we have another value to assign hidden in the game. Let's make this SM Hammer. Right click, find actor and level. Another nice shortcut. And if I click to my level, there's my hammer. And is it the spot we've been running over? Yes, it is. So it is referencing the right object. Go back here. So I'm assuming, and we know it's not hidden to start the game. We see it. So I'm assuming I hit this checkbox and see what happens. Now let's run through it. Oh, there's two there. <laughs> That's a good surprise. Oh, yeah, look at that. There is a second one there. I made double of everything without even knowing. Delete. Another error I found. Play again. In your haste to get things done, this happens all the time. All right. We fixed the wheel. Next step. Pull the handle. So this is pretty lame of me. Obviously this should be closer to the wheel. I'm supposed to fix the wheel. 
So I do have a visual cue here. Get over here and fix the wheel. Okay, that makes sense. This one, I have no visual cue for the handle. So even at the earliest level, get a visual something in there. So I'm just going to drag in, uh, let's just drag in a freaking, let's grab a simple material. That's not a simple material. Simple material, something that looks different, stands out. Walnut. Let's make it a walnut handle. Grab a box brush, drag it in, scale it. All this little feedback, even if you guys are in a hurry, um, visually representing objects, having print strings, having audio cue is a big deal. It makes everything so much easier to figure out. You guys start getting fatigued. Everybody starts getting fatigued. People get fatigued and you start making really silly mistakes. So go back to the basics. Make sure your triggers are triggering. Make sure you're, you just toggle your trues and falses. Uh, check both ways. If you have multiple branches connected to the same script branching off from each other, check each section one at a time with a print string. If you have multiple uh, animations, all these different things firing off, make sure the animations work on their own. Make sure each phase of the set and get with your variables here fires off. You know, when I walk through this trigger and I have a sound go off, I know I've touched the trigger and it's gotten to this point. And I know I've at least set this, whether it's true or false. So have a sound or a print string telling you every step along the way. If after this, then you have like an animation, you have the player being set into cinematic mode, you have another branch and another branch and another branch, it can get really confusing. So test each step one at a time. Don't try to test the whole thing and debug everything. Start from the beginning. Does the trigger work? Is this being set? Hear my audio. Is this being hidden? Does it play an animation? One step at a time. All right, so where are we? We're over here. Now I have visual representation of my switch. And what are we going to double check? We have to touch this. We touch this. I pick up the hammer. I touch this. If the hammer is picked up, it will now set the variable wheel repaired, which is another boolean. It's going to play the sound of it hammering away at it. If I don't have my hammer, it's going to play this string that says you need to get the hammer first. If then I run to the handle, which I now know where it is because I put a visual representation of ham handle. When I go to this, if I've repaired the wheel right here, or right here, sorry, set the wheel. If that's true, I'm going to play an animation and I'm going to delay that anima animation. Why am I delaying it? I don't know why I'm delaying it that long. Oh, I might have. I don't think I need that delay. Uh, which then tells me that the bridge is up, which I can move on to do something else. So what I need here is another print string, copy paste. And let's get some feedback telling me. You need to repair the bridge. Wheel. All right, let's fire it up. I can't remember what else I ambushed, so let's see if it works. I might have ambushed something else. I got to figure it out. And making something disappear like that and animate just helps immensely. Like this, it'd be great if I spawned some sparks right here. That would help immensely, even in this earliest stage. Now I go over to the switch. I know the switch is where to go. Oh, look at that! That is one satisfying bridge. So I'm going back to this. I think this delay is completely unnecessary. This might have been where I was going to play sound because I put the actual audio in the matinee itself. So I don't need this delay. So now I've set my bridges up. 
and I can do something else later. Now that the bridge is up, I can spawn enemies, or I can kill all my enemies, or something like that. Uh, I believe that is it for this video. This is the common sense. Actually, one more thing. On these variables, you're like, where else are these being referenced? So, if I can't get things to work and you're like, okay, hammer picked up, I'm assuming it's just here amongst my level blueprint, but you can double check that by clicking on here, find references. And it tells you where it's being called, where it's being used. And we see hammer picked up. Oh, there it goes. Hammer pick, get pe hammer picked up. That's a set. And it's right here. What about fish in place? What is this? I don't know what this is. Find references. I put this in here a long time ago and I forget. There's a print string connected to this and there's a set. Well, look at there. I have a whole puzzle block set up over here and it's setting the fact that the fish is in place. So that's, you can find references. And Unreal is pretty good at that. Um, just like I did this when I'm, I right click on a trigger and I can find it in the level, find actor in level which is very useful. Goes right to it. You can also do it on this side in the details or the world outliner. If I'm over here and instead of having to scan throughout my world and be like, is this trigger even being used? What is this? Click on this, right click. Aha, there is an event associated with this. And it takes me right to blueprint. There's my trigger and there's where it's being used. There are some faulty parts of this. Um, if I click on the hammer, whoa, what is reference viewer? I am not aware of reference viewer. Let's just go away and not look at that. Uh, you cannot, because this is being set hidden in my level blueprint, I do not have a quick way to figure that out. It only shows me events, so there's no way for me to be like, is this being referenced anywhere in the script and such, which I don't think Reference Viewer shows me. Let's open it up and look. So this is the static mesh. Oh, there is core UI object, engine, script, Unreal editor, code. So this is showing the materials, the materials. This is script, script, if I double click on it. Oh, that doesn't do anything. It gets crazier. All right, so that is not a shortcut to getting me to my getting me to my level blueprint. That was a good experimentation. So yeah, make sure that's the one shortcoming is you can't really click on objects and find their references in uh, level blueprints quickly. But the rest is pretty is pretty well set up. You can jump around, find references in your scripts. So that is my quick common sense how to debug use uh, blueprint debug abilities make sure you put comments in please as you notice as I zoom out pressure pressure means pressure plate I have pressure plates here I have blocks that I'm pushing into place I know exactly what's going on this is my whole bridge sequence very simply set up use your comments you can also color your comments go over here change this color to whatever you want bridge is blue okay alright that's it for today and uh, make sure you go from step one, check that trigger first, check those events, find your references. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.